Yes, hail to the bus driver, bus driver man. Hi there and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK and today ladies and gentlemen I am dressed for the occasion as you may be able to tell from my pyjamas and this rather large pile on the floor we are going to the town of Springfield today as I take you through my first two weeks as a World of Springfield collector. We're going to go through what I've picked up and then we are going to build the display in this video. And I'm a little bit hyped because I think this could look quite epic. So, Cheeky Monkey's behind the camera. Woo, woo, woo. There she is. So, if you could comment, of course, like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're new, hit that notification bell. And this video, of course, is dedicated to your friend of mine, Mr. Dan, who reviews from YouTube himself, the massive Simpsons fan. The reason Cheeky Monkey Kiara watched The Simpsons with me and I was allowed to collect this collection. Now Brian Flynn at Super 7, he tried to cancel The Simpsons. It sent me into an absolute tiswaz and off I went to eBay to start the world of Springfield from Playmates Toys. So this collection is over 24 years I think in the making. I used to watch The Simpsons every night, BBC Two, 6 o'clock with my sister growing up and I've been pretty much obsessed since then but I've never had any figures because for some reason I didn't know this collection existed. So I'm going to go down onto the floor in my pyjamas and I'm going to show you what we've got. So Cheeky Monkey, you'll have to come down here and let the good public see what we've perked up. So this is week two. If you've watched the last This Week in Toys live stream, you would have seen the start of week one. And when I go for a collection, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, it just, I don't know how it happens, but it just happens. Start slowly, he said. Start slowly. So I've started. She's giving me a right look from behind the camera, dear. Can you confirm, dear, I've started slowly? No. No, she cannot confirm I've started slowly. Got a little bit crazy, but then we got hit with some hot toys bills, so we're going to have to stop for now. So I thought that is the perfect time to do a video. I'm getting this uploaded on a Saturday night, so let's call it Springfield Simpsons Saturday. It's a triple S, and let's go through what we've got. So, on the floor here. Am I in a good camera shot, dear? We're doing this in one take, because she's off out. So there yep. is Bumblebee Man, so of course you may recognise this World of Springfield packaging. Anybody in the comments, let me know, is this a line you've collected? Did you know about this line 20 years ago? Or was it just me that didn't know it existed? So over 200 figures apparently to collect, so that might take me a long time. And over 40 diorama base pieces. And as you'll see as we get through the video, it's the diorama base pieces that have got me excited. I've even started crafting, so stick with me to the end. And you'll find out. So we'll just go through these quickly. So there is Bumblebee Man. We've got old Cletus there. Looks pretty familiar to me, but there he is. We have Sherry and Terry, of course, the twins. The twins are here. Then we will go to Captain McAllister himself. Didn't actually know that was his name. I always called him the old fisherman. So there he is. He is there. And then we've got the family. Cheeky Monkey, come on in. You might be able to film these on the floor because they are lined up in order. We have gone, which is going to start that end. So we've got Bart, of course, and Santa's little helper. Kiara's favourite next. Could you introduce your favourite character Homie! Here? Why do you like Homie? He's, he's just like you. He's just like me. She thinks I'm a spitting image of Homer Simpson. I don't know if that is a compliment or not. Coming over to Lisa and, of course, Snowball number two, I believe, the cat. And then Maggie and Marge. And then behind me here, the wall of dioramas. Which side are you starting on, dear? She's gone bottom left. So we haven't got the more mint on car because it was much cheaper to get kind of used version. So there's the arcade and Jimbo falling over. We've got the B-sharp Sentinel playset. We've got the living room coming in here. Then we come up to Rainier Wolfcastle, of course, as Radioactive Man and Millhouse. Homer's off to work, of course, from the opening credits of the show. And as I say, you will see later on, I'll try to recreate the opening credits in my backdrop. We've got Reverend Lovejoy, of course, and the church. The spitting image of me there at the top, we've got Comic Book Guy and Bart's Treehouse. Now, if you go straight on Comic Book Guy, dear, would you not say that looks like me? Oh, yeah, exactly Fantastic. like you. The spitting image of me in toy form. So that is part one of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Cheeky Monkey's off. And when you see me next, all these figures will be unboxed and I will be building the World of Springfield display. The Simpsons. Well, here we are. There we have it. I've done it. I've unboxed all the figures and I'll take a step back and I'll show you what we have done. So we've got a full three shelf living room display. 
Right, so I'm just literally going to go shelf by shelf showing you what I've managed to do. So the backdrop itself, that is a piece of sort of hard card with some foam boards, so cheap pound foam from Hobbycraft here in the UK. I tried to look at some Google images of how the font was written and tried to cut it out myself to the best that I could just to stick it on the background there. And I've also managed to sort of do the same on the bits of the Calax I've got between because I've actually taken some of the shelves out as you can see the shelf holes because this is sort of a three a three cube wide display so i can fit up to five of the diorama bases on each of the shelves so i've got enough to do um four on each shelf at the moment so i've sent them out with 12 of these not quite sure how that's happened in two weeks but it is what it is so i managed to win a sort of job lot on ebay that had five of the bases and a lot of loose figures in i think it had 25 loose figures in not all the accessories are there but quite a few of them were so i'll just take you from left to right so as you can see here we've got radio active man and millhouse on the base of course a lot of these bases no longer work because they're over over 20 years old so uh Lots of leaking battery acid I've had to uh, deal with th this afternoon. So, um, well, it is what it is when it comes to that. So we've got sort of Ranger Ned there and Bart from Camp Krusty. And then we've got Cletus, who was in the uh, unboxing part earlier. At the back there is Bart in his treehouse. What a great episode, I think that is. Way back in Series 1, I think it is, when he uh, storms uh, Nelson with the water bombs. With the help of, I think it's Herman, isn't it, from the... Uh, military surplus store and then the old sea captain himself there and then we come to the quickie mark i think it is missing a piece on the top but you've got a poo there serving chap the beard i think is it jasper my goodness it's a it's a long time since i've got all these names but um he comes with a squishy and all sorts you've got to have a quickie mark i think in a simpsons display as i come round, then a bit awkward to film under here because we are literally in the living room under the stairs so there could be my favourite character in The Simpsons, potentially Millhouse takes front and centre with Nelson trying to bully him from behind. I do like these little squishy accessories. I think they are fantastic, the accessories that are in this line. There is Comic Book Guy in his comic book school. I say I've pretty much grown up to be Comic Book Guy uh, with all the action figures and comics I've collected. Maybe I was influenced as a young child watching The Simpsons. And there is Krusty the Clown and a bumblebee man and crusty of course is in crusty burger comes with little crusty shakes and crusty fries uh, actual crusty burgers themselves so that is uh, a bit of the uh, the mezcos there on the corner so that is the first shelf then with the main simpsons logo now i'm gonna have to get down on my knees and we'll pan down hi there i'm troy mcclure and you might remember me from such videos as jake's toy collection does the world of springfield and there is a uh, troy mcclure of course another classic character voiced by the late phil hartman and then we have another four dioramas then on the middle shelf so in the corner i've got some of the random sort of characters that don't really fit in so at the back there we've got pin pal homer and we've got smithers when he gets sent on a forced holiday and then disco stew so he does come with this disco ball and there we have the first church of springfield I do believe it's called, and we've got Rod and Todd Flanders. So I still need to pick up some key characters. I still need Ned Flanders. I still need regular Smithers, Mr. Burns. And of course, if you see Moe's bar there, don't have a Mo. So I've got to try and pick up a Mo. But the prices do vary, it seems, across this uh, across this line. A lot of these I did manage to pick up for reasonable prices. Hence, I could pick up so much in such a short period of time. But some of them do seem a lot more expensive than others so i've got most of the simpson family in their sunday best so there's lisa homer and bar i do like bar's little uh, slick down hair he has to go to church there and reverend lovejoy and of course his train set so he's a toy collector at heart so there is moe's tavern of course one of the most used parts of springfield i do apologize any reflection we are getting but i am literally under the stairs so i'm having to turn the, uh, the light on the uh, camera on there so there is duffman he came with moe's bar and there we have Chief Wiggum in the police station. So we do have the uh, the police station diorama. Fat Tony himself. And uh, one of my favourites, Principal Skinner in the school. So fantastic they do that. You see it in the opening credits of every episode. Um, the uh, chalkboard there with the different wording on. So there is the school. And there is groundskeeper Willie himself. And there is an alternate one called Raging Willie. So I'm going to have to try and pick that one up as well. 
but that then is shelf two and again I've done a similar foam background there just imitating the clouds from the opening credits so one final pan down for shelf three and here we go then the third and final shelf which contains the DMV the arcade the living room and of course Homer's place of work at the nuclear power plant the family themselves but we'll start over here with a vehicle of the line, a school bus. So they did do a vehicle. I think they did the Simpsons car and Otto and the school bus. Not quite in perfect scale with the figures there because they have got the sort of shorter two inch figures there. But I think it works very nicely. So we've got the twins, of course, sharing Terry at the front. They do freak me out. They remind me of the twins in The Shining. So something about twin little girls sometimes scares me. So we need Patty and Selma, but we only have one of the sisters. Now in the comments, which sister do we have? Is that Patty or Selma? I can't remember. I'm going to guess it's Selma, but I might be wrong. I'm sure somebody will correct me. But I've got a bit of the DMV place set there. Hans Moldman himself, of course, failing his driving test, getting kicked by a football. Very random accessories, of course, to have, but all pretty much show Pacific. There's another version of a poo with a different face sculpt and hot dog. And then we have Jimbo and Kearney in the arcade playing a bit of Slugfest. But the one I remember, Larry the Looter. So let me know if you remember the Larry the Looter video game way back from the early 1990s. It does make me feel a bit old. Random fact coming in now. The first episode of The Simpsons aired on my actual date of birth. The day I came into this world, April the 19th, 1987. The Simpsons aired on the Tracy Ullman show. They do actually do a diorama for that, which I haven't got yet. But that was my date of birth. So it was destined to be, I think, this toy collection. So front and centre of this shelf, of course, is the family in the regular looks. The thing that Super 7 decided not to give us until it was too late when they solicited Marge and Maggie for Wave 5. And then the line got cancelled, which, of course, as I said earlier, led me to backtracking and jumping into the world of Springfield itself there. So there is Bart and, of course, Santa's little helper scratching himself. There's Lisa and her saxophone. So toy collectors out there in the comments, do you recognise that saxophone? What famous YouTuber and his uh, Marvel character does he use with that very saxophone accessory, given the secrets away there? But I might have to do some recreations. If you know, let me know in the comments section down below. There is Cheeky Monkey's favourite classic Homer Simpson. There is another version, of course, him in pants. So I might get that one for Cheeky Monkey's pure pleasure, of course. So we have the living room set itself. So famous, that couch and all the different scenes they do in the opening credits. There's little Maggie and, of course, Marge with her shopping. Grandpa's over there. Great looking figure. He looks pretty much like my granddad, actually. So I'm sure he'll be happy with that. So there is granddad. And there is Onky Herb, of course. Homer's long lost brother, Herb Simpson. Doesn't go too well on that episode for him. But he's there in a Simpsons family section. And there's Homer at work in the nuclear power plant. So that is the third and final shelf of the collection. We'll end on the final pan down. If you see my previous Super 7 Power Rangers video, well, they had to move to make some more room in the toy room for the Mythic Legions to go back up to put these Simpsons in. So they, they're already down here. So that is what we have then. So... There is my pillar getting in the way. So there is a Simpsons shelf number one. Deep squat coming now. Deep squat into shelf number two. And then finally down into shelf number three before we get to the omnibuses here in the living room. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is two weeks of toy collecting in the year of 2024. Hmm. Need to slow down a bit, but that is the backtracking of the world of Springfield uh, collection. It really does get me quite excited. Probably not going to complete it because, as you know, 40 dioramas, 200 figures, that's probably a bit too much. But there's definitely key characters missing and plenty of space for a few more dioramas and characters to come. Hopefully I can find some coming up in Toy Fair, of course, in April here in the UK. Because you do see these around on the toy hunt. So if you'd like this video, you could hit that like button. I would be most grateful. Do let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you are new here and you've stayed to the end, thank you very much. And please do... Hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers here in the year of 2024. But ladies and gentlemen, I have been Jay. And this has been Jay's Toy Collection UK. And this has been The Simpsons and the World of Springfield. I will see you, of course, on the next video.